Hello, Fair Mains, and welcome now to Monday. Well, partly cloudy and pensive is my prediction for the virgins of the zodiac, the Virgos. That's because the moon has now moved into the intellectual awareness side of you, which is Scorpio, if you don't know. In fact, Virgos are very much like that intellectually. Either they agree or they disagree, and there's no gray area, no gray matter. That's how you process intellectually. You're very cut and uh, swift about it, so to speak. And you're also, at the same time, in paradox. You know, Virgo's like, I don't know which way to go, I don't know which way to go, because you're so bipolar in your thinking. That said, though, emotionally means you'll be processing your emotions, thinking about how you feel, feeling how you think about certain things. This is also a time when people should go to therapy and journal and blog and talk to your best friend forever about how you feel about certain things. In fact, you might literally be processing your emotions around a given relationship because the moon in Scorpio is trining Uranus in Pisces. Watch the astro weather to see what I mean by that, but it means you might have to have a leap of faith today that everything in your relationships will work out. And Virgo, I'm telling you, they will. Trust me if you watch these shows. Zimmer on the Zodiac. The sun has also transitioned over the weekend. In fact, it's technically zero degrees as we wake up. It'll be one degree sometime around lunchtime, Pacific Standard Time. That means the topic of our life is changing. We just spent 30 days working on your potting soil, your home, your family, your foundation. And now that we begin the sun in Capricorn, this is really going to be a 30-day introduction to a 16-year complete life makeover when it comes to finding your creativity, finding true romance, and getting back to your inner child and your true dreams. I got to tell you, as a Leo rising, I just went through this transit in the last 12 years, and this part of my life and this Pluto transit was frankly a breeze. At the beginning of the transit, I didn't even call myself creative. At the end of the transit, I developed Soul Garden, I do the graphics, and I call myself an artist. So you're going to find your inner artist, you're going to find your inner romantic, and the next 30 days, we're going to find out what's in the way of that. So we start that work tomorrow, Virgo. All right, that's all I have for today's Virgo Horoscope. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So